Hello, my name is Lawrence Cement. I work on the Maya development team here at Autodesk, and here's a handy quick tip that applies to any version of Maya. Are you seeing annoying artifacts in the viewport or your play blasts? Or do you ever find that sometimes you see nothing at all in the viewport? So this can happen from time to time, especially when working on very large scenes or importing data from other applications. Uh, but lucky for us, this is a pretty easy thing to fix. You can see immediately there's some weird artifacts here and uh, we're missing some stuff. And what's worse, if we hit the F key for frame, which is something we might often do, uh, we get nothing at all in the viewport, which is pretty unnerving. Now, if you're ever in this situation, you can just hit the left square bracket key to go backwards in your camera movements to get back. But let's fix this problem properly. So simple fix, we're just going to make sure we have the camera selected. You can click in this button if it's not up already, bring it up in the attribute editor and make sure you're looking at the shape node. And what we're going to do is pay attention to the clipping planes. Near clip and far clip define how uh, much of the scene is seen by the camera in the viewport based on distance from the camera. So simple fix for the cutoff material is we're just going to add uh, a couple of zeros to our far clip plane. And now you can see our whole scene is back. And if we hit frame, uh, we don't lose the scene. But we have this very annoying flickering artifacts here uh, that make their way in our play blast and don't look very good. So that's no good. Now, this is also a simple fix. We're just going to increase our near clipping plane to a value of, let's say, 2 or 3. And now the scene is looking great. So just a quick recap, uh, make sure your far clipping plane is extended as far out as it needs to be, and just uh, increase your near clipping plane to a value of, let's say, 2 or 3, and you will address the flickering problems you have in the viewport. Thanks for listening, and uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments section.